takes on Kareem Hod Hitta Mayfield. So let's take it ringside to the men who will call all the action this evening, Rich Murata and Sean O'Grady. Gentlemen. All right, Chris, and it should be brisk action. I tell you, we've got a great atmosphere in here. Really looking forward to this. These fans are jacked up. There's no doubt about it. So it's going to be a fun, fun night. We've got a little bit of everything. We've got an Olympic gold medalist uh, going tonight. We've got a great trainer of champions, of course, who trained some Olympic gold medalists to greatness in the ring and the pros. Angelo Dundee will be talking to him later. And that gold medalist we're going to see tonight, Andre Ward, has a really difficult uh, test tonight. We'll see if he can uh, jump that test and jump up the ladder when he takes on Ruben. Williams but we've also got a very interesting six rounder here and the, the unusual thing about it in today's uh, world of boxing is that we've got two undefeated youngsters yeah. both coming up the ladder here two great prospects they're both undefeated and they're meeting each other you know you don't see this very often rich two fighters with under 10 fights facing one another at this point in their career most of the time promoters and managers wait until later in their career for them to, to develop and you know if a guy has a name like Hard hitter, and that's his nickname, <laughs> Hard hitter. You know he's got a lot of confidence in his power. He says, uh, patiently go in there for the KO. Uh, is an exciting fighter. All of his, of his wins for Kareem Mayfield have been by knockout. So he's uh, going to go right after Francisco Santana. Santana says, I have a unique style. I bob and weave. I take a good look at my opponent, and then I attack. He is also a patient fighter. This fight should really heat it up. These fans are excited, mm -hmm. yep. and they are hot. And you know what? These, these fighters want to keep them hot. You know, I think one thing that we're going to see tonight is a good contrast in styles, oh, yeah. too, because we're going to have a puncher against a boxer puncher. And we've got a good contrast in terms of how they line up statistically against each other, especially in the height. Mayfield's a short Short fighter. He's only five foot six, very short for this weight division. Santana got good size. He's going to have that height advantage. He'll take it into the ring tonight and try to make it work for him here this evening. Let's take a look at the rules for this fight. And we're talking about the state rules in California. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. A fighter can be saved by the bell, but in the last round only. A referee or doctor can stop the fight here in California. And an accidental foul will go to the scorecards at the start of the fourth round. So we are ready for action. Should be a great night of boxing here. We're all excited about it. And let's go up now for the ring introductions for our first bout to ring announcer Danny Miller. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our semi-main event scheduled for six rounds in the junior and middleweight division. Referee Ray Balevich will oversee the action inside the ring. Just outside is Steve Morrow, Marty Salmon, and Mike Tate, our judges. Introducing the fighter in the red corner to my left, wearing the white trunks with the blue trim, weighing in at 148 pounds. Entering the ring tonight with the record of 5-0-1. All five wins coming by way of knockout out of San Francisco, California, Kareem, the hard hitter, Mayfield. And his opponent to my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the leopard trunks, weighing in at 147 pounds, enters the ring tonight, perfect at 8 and 0, with four wins coming by way of knockout. Out of Santa Barbara, California, Francisco Santana. Francisco, hey. referee Ray Balevich. Uh, she can protect herself at all times, obey my commands all the time. Trunks are good here. Trunks are just a little high here. Good luck to both of you. Well, normally in a fight like this, we hear someone's old has got to go. Uh, yeah, exactly. Both of them undefeated. You know, these fights are so fun, too. The six-rounders, many, many come from the four-rounders. They're so exciting. They're not quite used to that six-round distance yet, so they really heat up quickly. Hopefully that's what happens here. Francisco Santana, 8-0-4 KOs. Kareem Mayfield, 5-0-1 with 5 KOs. Mayfield definitely the puncher in this fight. He says we'll see some unusual stances out of him. He's a short fighter, and he says he likes to fight even shorter. He'll get down in the crouch, go low the way Pernell Whitaker used to do. But he is a puncher, and he says that all five of his KOs have been with one punch, not with accumulations of punches or flurries of punches, but then with his big, powerful right, mostly. Big, powerful right, but he says his best punch, I asked him today, best punch is a left kick to the body. It's a dangerous weapon. Oh, 
And it hurts. <laughs> All those punches hurt. Some hurt tomorrow, hurt. though. Let him go, let him go. Come the on. junior middleweights. And look at their heights. Five foot nine and a half for Santana. In the leopard trunks. Five foot six for Mayfield. Santana trying to get that jab to use. Which he should on a shorter fighter, however. Mayfield says, I can jab with anybody. Mayfield trying to launch that right. Santana bounces off the ropes. I got in the ring earlier tonight and bounced myself off those ropes. They're very loose. Well, you just saw him, as you, as you can see, he's got a good <laughs> propelling uh, bounce off of those ropes. Well, let him go, let him go. Box. Don't forget a little bit later on, Andre Ward. The Olympic gold medal is toughest test as a pro, taking on Ruben well, Hollywood let him go, Williams. Korea, let him go. Andre Ward, you just see him every every fight. He gets a little bit more into his toolbox. He understands a little bit more about this game of boxing, and, and he gets more experience every time out. Anxious to see him tonight. That coming up later. Look at these two, kind of sizing up their opponent. First round, they're heating up good right hands to the body. Anybody dictating the spot here? Do you think? Uh, not at all. Not at all. They're still they're still trying to test their opponents. See what they're doing. See what folks can work. He wants to launch that right hand again. It's tough for a fighter, though. It's, it's unusual because when you see a guy like Mayfield, who's so short in his division, usually they try to board their way inside. But he will try to jab with the point. He'll try to bomb him from the outside. And that's what he told us today. He said, my style is unique. It's like, ne like nothing you've seen before. He said, I go in, I go out. I, I'm, I'm, I'm noxious in there. <laughs> and you know what? He kind of is. He, he's unusual because most short fighters come into you. Go, I think that's what Santana is waiting for. Santana would be wise if he'd just get to the jab. Use the jab. When nothing else works, jab. Put it out there. Let your opponent see it. Santana out of Santa Barbara. Close first round. Box. This is scheduled for six. Junior middleweight battle. That's Francisco Santana, those leopard trunks and the white trunks. Kareem Mayfield calls himself hard hitter. And he's been a hard hitter through his pro career so far. Five wins, five KO victories. Both fighters Ooh. defeated, him, and Mayfield comes up with the first big one of the night. A hard right hand over the top. Santana does a nice job of keeping his hands up around his Box. face and his elbows in nice and tight. Really hard to hit him. Oh, good luck took from Santana. Santana, get back to the jab. And you don't know what to do, jab. You know, Santana's got a longer reach, taller of the two. Fight tall. Make your opponent take your jab. Keep him out there at the end. Mayfield is hard to fight because of the way he attacks. Watch him just rush at his opponent. He just kind of goes like right there. Rushes right in, right in. Now, if you're Santana, maybe you can time it when you catch him and he comes in. Well, he, he, he seems to take on, a step or two out. back fight before out. he launches that drive forward. So he kind of lures you forward into him, and then he takes off after He does. He rocks his back on his back foot, rocks his weight back, and then he comes after you. Very dangerous. That's why he's the hard header. <laughs> Santana from the Santa Barbara area, managed by Gene Palmier and uh, trained by Joe, who is Gene's husband. Fox. So he works out a lot there, although in the past he has gone down to Wild Card Gym down in Hollywood, California, very famous boxing gym. Got a lot of good work down there with such uh, terrific fighters as a young uh, Vanis Matarosian, who's on the way up right now, and former world champion Roman Parmesan. He says, I'm a boxer puncher, and I've left hook to the body from him. Santana. Santana on the attack a bit this round. Those body shots really, in six rounds, they accumulate. Four rounds, they're hard to get going, but six rounds, they work. It may feel a little unusual now. We're seeing more of his style. He's quite unorthodox. It's a little awkward. Sean, you know, sometimes the guys who are awkward, although they might not be technically correct, it makes it more difficult to fight. It's so hard to fight. Two of them stepping on each other's foot, on each other's foot right now. It's just so hard. You don't know what your opponent's going to do. It's unusual. Yeah. Left hook, Santana. And a good count from Mayfield. Half minute left in the round, and this one may still be up for grabs. Yeah, I like it. I like it. 
second here on San Jose. Good crowd. Downstairs to the body goes Santana. Up to the top goes Mayfield. Let him go. Break. Santana hangs on. We're going to the final seconds now in round number two. Santana moving forward in this round. at HP Pavilion in San Jose, commonly known as the Shark Tank up here for the National Hockey League team and the San Jose Sharks. We're watching a junior middleweight bout between a couple of undefeated. Francisco Santana, a two-year pro, against Kareem Mayfield. Santana 8-0, Mayfield 5-0-1. All five of his wins by KO. What we've got basically here is a boxer puncher matchup. Although the puncher Mayfield has an unusual style, Right. He's shots, he's been backing up most of the fight, and then launches him from long range. Russian and his opponent is a Russian fighter. He nearly threw down Santana. The referee Ray Belevich gets between him, and then just to indicate to everyone that that was no knockdown, even though Santana was held up by the ropes briefly. He was basically thrown down and punched him. Here comes Santana back now. Santana, extremely aggressive here. You know, between rounds, they were telling Mayfield the jab. Did a good call right now. You got to do something to Santana to get him off of you. Get that jab working. Santana coming much faster this round, Sean. Yeah, a lot of pressure from him. A lot of pressure. Oh, now, a big right hand by Santana. That would surprise Mayfield, who was expecting the jab. Good cross. He bent over at the waist to put an upper body of strength into the punch. Andre Ward, big test tonight against Ruben Hollywood Williams, who gave Jeff Lacey a terrific goal when they fought for the world title. Before being stopped by Lacey, he gave a very good account of himself. This fight. You can upset the apple card. Oh, there's a nice little left hook by Mayfield. That one got Santana to back off. Mayfield, it appears to me, uh, Sean is trying to let him out, let him set out. some traps Great. here for uh, for Santana and lure him in. Yeah, that's the way he fights too. He likes to get his opponent reaching and then countering. You better watch his sticking his tongue out uh, between his mouth and between his lips. And, so he's licking his lips and maybe a little winded here. Back to the body by Santana. Oh, those hurts. Uh, put some pressure on. Come he on, has been pressure. Yeah, and Fight it's been up. Santana the last couple of rounds moving forward. Mayfield moving backward, trying to reset and kind of set those traps for Santana. Fifteen seconds, entertaining bounce. The rounds have all been close. Yeah, they're fast pace. As we wait round four, there's the great one, the legend, the Hall of Fame trainer of champions, Angelo Dundee. I know if I was a young fighter, I'd feel a little bit better about things having that man get into the game. I wanted Angelo Dundee to work with me and some of my fights I know that he had to work with me, but I'll tell you what, he is a robber. That's interesting because that's what Mayfield has been, been doing. And Angelo wants him to change the strategy. He may as well. I, I think Mayfield is way behind the eight ball here. He's losing his fight. Get me something to change. So Dundee was asking him to come forward in this round. Mayfield also mo moves mostly to his left. It's an easier move for a right-hander to make. Moving into your, to your power of your opponent, when you move to your left, his right hand has more power. So you kind of add to the power of his right hand. You gotta be careful of that. Sometimes you use your feet to maneuver around your opponent to take his power away from him. Mayfield looking for that right cross. Remember one thing about Mayfield is that he says that his uh, KOs have all come not as an accumulation of a lot of punches, but when he lands the big one, one big shot. He's looking for the big shot. I'll tell you what, Santana is too. Santana's dropping some bombs. 
Santana, obviously the more orthodox fighter of the two. Stylistically more correct. And a wind up near Bolo punch by Mayfield. And Santana's been fighting since he was a young man. He had about 58 amateur fights. Santana with his back to you in those leopard trunks. Francisco Santana, who's only 21 years old. And he's been busy. You know, since the opening round, Santana has really pressed this attack. Judges give credence to that, the person who is forcing the fight, too. Hit by quick time, Santana. His best punch of the fight, the short one inside. I think that one hurt Mayfield a little bit. Mayfield back up against the ropes and in a bit of a predicament right now. And I think Santana senses it, pushes him into the ropes, and here he comes. Santana's the hurt. No, he left it. He's stunned. So Francisco Santana trying to apply the culture here. He's definitely got Mayfield in a bad spot. That this is with that left hook. Wisely comes to the body with a shot. Mayfield is stepping in post holes. His arms down by his waist. No protection. Let's go, Kareem. Big rally from Francisco Santana. It was a left hook, a short one, a beauty that got it started. And Mayfield trying to fight his way through the fog right now, but he's in real trouble. Mayfield wobbling. Doing everything he can to stand up, trying to get some room. He wants some time. He's got 15 seconds left in this round. And the guy who's supposed to be the boxer has the puncher in real trouble. Right hand set down, left hand. Kevin almost knocked him down. Mayfield does come up right at the end of the round. And what's the rule from the referee? No, no knockdown. Knock no knockdown. Well, I think that's an incorrect call. But I think you're going to find that the judges score that a 10 8 round anyway. No. After the bell. Now watch for the left hand here. That set it up right there, that big left hook. What a perfect punch right on the jaw. And from that moment on, it was wobbly legs, doing everything he could to hold on. It was Mayfield Lee, that super slow-mo. Ouch! That hurt you. You can see the face of Mayfield go flying by. Wing, big left hook. That left hook had landed earlier in the fight, but not with the authority that it did in that round. I personally thought that was a knockdown at the end of the round. Yes, me too. The end of the fourth. There you cannot be saved by, by the belt in any round here in California except the last. Once that left hook round landed, Sean, and it was about midway through the round, Mayfield never really got out of the fog the rest of the round. He was in trouble the rest of the round, and there was a long way to go. And you know what? That is a time that you don't know. You don't know that you're hurt. You don't know that your legs are wobbling. You don't understand that. You, your, your brain's not thinking properly. You're not cognitive of it. But he was even smiling at one point. The smile was taken off of his face later as Francisco Santana kept the assault. Santana, a more technically mm. correct fighter. Not expected to have the big punch like Mayfield, but he is the one who has done the damage. The damage, the good damage of the left hook, and also with the right hand, too. He's been very effective with the overhand right cross, Santana. Mayfield trying to fight back. Mayfield is tough, I'll tell you that. Mayfield is tough, trying to fight back, fighting through the cobwebs. He's still hurt. Mayfield worked very hard. He said, I had good notice on this fight. He worked with people like Andre Ward and Robert the Ghost Guerrero, the featherweight champion. So he got very good uh, sparring, came into this fight. He thought impeccably prepared, but he's in a real difficult spot right now. And he had great respect for his opponent. He knew he was tough, but he figured he would be able to establish the jab, get the angle on him, and take him out. 
Green Mayfield in some real trouble in this fight. And, he, and he's holding on right now. He has bounced back to this extent. Well, he hasn't really landed anything. He hasn't found himself get hit by the big shot again in this round to really put him in a bad way again. Not at all. He needs time. And he, I would like to see him take some deep breaths. There he help him to recuperate a bit. Chopping right hand by Santana. Drives him into the ropes. Mayfield needs to get those trunks pulled out. The referee can give him a hand and do it. Very beloved, but he's not doing it. And uh, obviously Mayfield is bothered by it. Right. He's showing some visible signs of fatigue. There's a uh, the trunks. We don't, want, we don't want this to be a split decision. <laughs> trunks coming up. Uh, they're coming oh. down in the back. That's where the ref needs to pick him up, and uh, we could have an X-ray to show him momentarily. Good right hand from Mayfield. Showing he's not done, man. He's tough. Well, they got through three more rounds. Now let's see if he tries to load it up in the final round. Hey. Hey. Tonight. Williams is tough. He's coming to win. There's Mayfield in the corner, sucking it up. One big deep one before oh. round six. Sixth and final round. Mayfield Bucks. needs to make something dramatic happen in this sixth round. Rich Murata, Sean O'Grady, ringside at the HP Pavilion in San Jose. We've got a good fight here. But Francisco Santana is the man who has been controlling it in the last few rounds. But Mayfield, remember, has a big punch. He's going to try to unload it right now. Big punch, and he needs it now. Look at the scorecard there. Good combination downstairs and come back upstairs goes Santana. Mayfield trying to score back. May Mayfield still has some speed. Look at this in the sixth round. He has recuperated. He used that fifth round to take Break. off and to kind of gather himself. Exactly. The onslaught from the fourth round really damaged him, but he came back to six. Look at this here. He needs it. Well, he teed up that uppercut. And now an overhand right by Mayfield. Santana comes forward, but he may have been dinged a little bit by that shot. Sure he was, right on the temple. And now Mayfield opening up. Good placement from Mayfield. Santana rolling back, too. Good jab by Santana. He Good needs to get back to that, back, get back to basics. Right to the point of the chin. Comes in, hangs on. Right. I think he got buzzed a little by that shot from uh, Mayfield. Of course he did. Mayfield trying to put all his power into those shots. We're halfway through round six. Oh, yeah. Good right hand by Mayfield, who's watching a rally. Wow, Mayfield on, looking like out. he wants a knockout. Let him go. Still trying to win this fight. Let him go, Kareem. <laughs> Good left hook by Santana, sending Mayfield back. And the right hand by Santana, but Mayfield is slugging it out. Sean used to do this for a living. I'll tell you what, they <laughs> like it. Look at this, this is good, good fighting. Not much boxing here, you know, not much time, and you have to give it everything. The right hand from Mayfield. Open the knockout from Mayfield. Mayfield having a good final round. Looking, still looking for that big one. Wild with the right hand, though. Half a minute to go in the fight. Trying to let go, run it out in the back. Mayfield. Well, he's the hard hitter. Fans into it. Just missed with that right, did Mayfield. Santana trying to control the fight, but a little bit rocky in this final round for him. And a right hand by Mayfield. Santana still keeping the, on the pressure. Look at this action, though. Sam's yeah. loving it. Hey! Into the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Terrific six rounds of action. Francisco Santana and Kareem Mayfield. Lots of big shots thrown. We'll get the official verdict when we come back. Back here once again at the for fight night at the tank. Best damn fight night period here in San Jose. And what a uh, 
fight we just witnessed between Francisco Santana and Kurt Kareem Mayfield. Here you see Mayfield coming forward in the second round. Third round continued his assault, nearly scored a knockdown right there, kind of threw him into the ropes. In the fourth round, the fight changed up, though, with that left hook, a beauty landed by Francisco Santana. And you see it now in our super slow motion, that Exmo shot of beauty that you can really see how it uh, startled and stunned Mayfield. He was in terrible condition the rest of the round. That was at the end of the round. He got hit several clean shots and really appeared in trouble. And in the sixth round, though, Mayfield came back, answered real strong, had a big round. Mayfield really bounced back and uh, tried to pull the fight out in that final round. He was hoping to score at least a knockdown, perhaps, in that final round, but he did land some terrific clean punches. You saw that right hand. And now the question is, did Kareem Mayfield pull it out with that sixth round rally? Let's find out from our ring announcer, Danny Miller. And now, ladies and gentlemen, after six full rounds, we go to the scorecard. Judge Steve Morrow scored the bout 58-56 Mayfield. Judge Mike Tate scored the bout 58-56 Santana. Judge Marty Salmon scored the bout 58-56 for the winner by split decision, the hard hitter, Kareem Mayfield. The decision was split, and the reaction is split from this crowd. I had Mayfield winning the fight. I've actually got the judges' scorecards in front of me, and I'm very shocked, actually surprised, that none of them scored that one round 10-8 for Santana. That's uh, shocking to me. He had uh, Mayfield stumbling all over. You don't need a knockdown to get a 10-8 round, but nonetheless, it is Mayfield who pulls out the fight. He wins the last round on all three judges' scorecards to win the fight and uh, get the uh, split decision of victory here this evening. A disappointment, obviously, for Francisco Santana. Admittedly, I thought that uh, Santana had the victory tonight, but I'm overruled, certainly, by the judges. And I'd say this crowd is split in how it felt as well. All right, let's go up now to our Sean O'Grady. He's got the winner, Kareem Mayfield, with him. Sean? Thanks, Rich. Boy, you talk about uh, guts and determination. What were you thinking going into that final round, Kareem? Man, I had to step it up, man. I mean, Santana was definitely a good fighter. He had good defense. It wasn't slick at all, but it was a nice, tight defense. I'm like, damn, man, I got I to gotta step it up, man. I got to thug it out. I got to pull this win out for my fans, man, for my people, for myself. You looked as though you really wanted to win this fight in that final round. Why do you think these fans are booing? Well, I, I, right now, for Santana got his hand up, so they booing him. They ain't booing me. But also, it was a close fight. It could have won anyway. He's from San Jose. This is his hometown, so you know how it is. It was a close fight, though. He was definitely a good opponent. Ain't no good opponent. What won this fight for you tonight, Kareem? I think my bigger shots, the big shots that I landed, it was a large shots, and I, I stumped him at least three times. He, now he, get, he hit me with a nice one. It looked worse than what it really was, but he hit me with a nice one. It was, you know, I think it was the bigger shots. The final round, what was going through your mind here as you're scoring well? Kareem, you got to get him out of here, man. Let's keep it up. It's tight defense. We got to get him out of here, man. Your, your fans is out here watching. How about Angelo Dundee, legendary trainer in your corner? That had to help you a great deal. Yeah, that was a beautiful thing, man. He used the legendary words. You're blowing it, kid. I had to step it up, man. I had my coach, Coach Ben Batista. He told me I got to thug it out, man. I mean, pull it out, pull out, put it out, put my heart out there, man. Well, I tell you, you hard hitter. You showed him some guts tonight. You took some, some tough shots. You hung in there and you kept with it. Hard hitter, he gets the victory. Fans don't like